Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Dropified Video Training. My name is Riley, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use boards when categorizing different products in your store. So boards are essentially a feature that lets you categorize products into groups that you decide on, kind of like a Pinterest board. So without any further ado, let's get started. So what you want to do is log into Dropify, and on the main home screen, look to your left, and under Products, you can find a tab that says Boards. So click on Boards. So when you get to the screen, this is probably what you're going to see if you've never set up a board before. If you want to add your first board, you just press Add Board, the blue button right here, and name it whatever you want. For the sake of this, I'm going to add it and name it Games, because I'm feeling like I want to play a game right now. So you press add, and here you go. Now right now, this is going to tell you a little bit of information. This is going to tell you the products you've saved, the products you've connected to your store, and it also gives you the options to bulk edit, empty it out entirely, or just delete it. So I'm going to go over to AliExpress for the sake of this demonstration, right over here, and I'm going to type in games. All right, so we've got a bunch of different things right here. And let's find something I want to add to my store. Let's do this. So once the product page loads, you want to go to your Chrome extension right here at the top of your browser. Click on it. And at the bottom, press Save for Later. I'm going to do that with a couple of items just to show you how this works. So cancel this out. Go to a different one. Do the same thing. Save for Later. And let me do one more for good measure. And this one. Now if I go back to my Dropified page, you can go under Products to Saved Products. These are the products we've sent over to Dropified. We haven't sent them over to our Shopify store yet, but I'll get to that in just a second. So right now, as you can see, we have all the products we saved right here. And what we can do is, if we go to the bottom of each of the products, we can add it to our board by just pressing the board button, and then pressing the board we want. In this case, it's games. So games. Now that we've done that, we can actually go back to the board and see that we now have three saved products, and we can click on the title right here to see all of the products in our board right now. So what's cool about this is, now that these are all categorized, we can edit these in bulk without having to worry about messing up other items, messing up other prices of different items. We can just focus on the board we have here. So if we click all of these, we can go to selected items, and then we can choose to either send it to our store, remove them all from our board, or even bulk edit them. See, we can do all of that right here. But that's going to pretty much do it for boards. There's so much you can do with boards by just adding, categorizing, focusing on a bunch of different products. It's a really powerful tool that we offer. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.